Hi everybody, Beanmeister22 here, and yes, my Chinese praying mantis is laying an egg case! Alright, so it's cold, and it's snowy, and it's horrible here, but it's warm in the mantis tank. Let me tell you why. Up until a few weeks ago, it was fairly mild around here. It was in the 50s outside, which means it was in the 60s inside. I don't like to use a lot of heat. It costs a lot of money! If the cats are cold, they can put on a sweater! No, the cats have fur. If anybody else here is cold, they can put on a sweater. So... I figure, hey, it's probably getting a little chilly for the mantis and William the lizard and the two cockroaches and all the crickets and bugs we have in the terrarium. I'd stick them heaters on the side of the tank and it really wasn't doing it. So I put the overhead heat lamp on there. It's that infrared thing, you know, anyways. It emits no light, it just emits heat. And then it was cooking in there. And by cooking, I mean 77 to 85 degrees. Man, he was happy. Or sorry, she was happy. I thought he was a he until it laid an egg. So near as I can figure, maybe the mantis said, hey, it was cold, now it's warm, so it's spring and I should be laying an egg? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure. So just last night, I was walking by the mantis tank, and I said, what is going on? Is that mantis pooping on the side? And I said, no, it's laying an egg case. So I set up a camera and I started filming, and then after the first hour of filming, the battery died on the first camera, and I had to set up the second camera. I think overall it's about six to six and a half hours. Yeah, that's a lot of film. But I didn't know if I was going, what kind of video I was going to make, so I just wanted to post this video real quick. Uh, yeah, it's not as short as I wanted it to be, but I wanted you guys to see this. It's mesmerizing. It's like a, a, a traffic accident or an auto wreck or something. You can't take your eyes off it. it. This thing is being created on the side of the tank, and it's coming out the back of the mantis. And that back of the mantis, you can see it's just working away and pulsating and doing its thing. And it's making this foamy egg case thing. And what's really funny is, lately, well, not lately, but, you know, lately I've been wondering, I wonder how do they make those egg cases? Because I bought them online, they're fairly big, and mantises, mantids, manti, mantises, anyways, mantises are fairly small. And then the question I had after seeing this start to lay an egg is, oh, you're, you're not a boy, you're a girl? So if you remember, this is one of the Chinese mantises, mantids, that I bought online at Amazon. It came already alive, already hatched, it was about three quarters of an inch tall. And I ordered two of them. One didn't survive past the fourth molting, maybe, and this one just kept growing and growing and growing. People say the female are the is the bleh. people say the female are the bigger ones, and this one was always slightly bigger than the other one. But I still didn't put two and two together. I mean, I didn't like lift up its skirt and look under its skirt. I didn't know if it was a male or a female. It's a bug, right? Well, when I had it in the bigger ten-gallon terrarium. The same one with the nightmare spider. And remember, this is the mantis that ate that nightmare spider. When I had it in that terrarium, I had a, a, a domestic or a locally produced mantis in there with him, her, it. And they lived in there in harmony for several months. And living in harmony, they both just kind of hung upside down from the top of the tank. That's the thing about mantises. They're really boring. All they do is hang upside down from the top of the tank. Unless they're hunting, and then, you know, it's kind of cool. So they were both hanging upside down from the top of the tank. And I have a whole bunch of video of all this, and I will make a big video, not necessarily a documentary, but I'll make a big video that tells the whole story and shows the whole story in video form. And pretty much like the nightmare spider, one day I looked in the tank, and uh, there was only one mantis. Like, I looked in the tank, and there was no nightmare spider. But in this case... I found the wings of the other mantis laying on the bottom of the tank. So sometime during the night, this mantis walked over the other one and said, Hey, how's it going? And ate it. Or, we don't have it on video, obviously. This mantis walked over to the other mantis, they got it on, and then she ate him. And that was several months ago. And I've been wondering how long these mantises, mantids, live. And I guess I could go online and look, but you know, that's a lot of effort. It's already lived longer than I thought it would. So it's ahead of the game, right? So that would explain, at least to me, that explains how this female mantis got pregnant, got knocked up, got preggers, got, you know, whatever. Now it's laying an egg. Also, at the same time, I have two more egg cases that I bought online, but uh, it's still kind of cold and it could take a long time for them to hatch. I've been checking on them, but they're nowhere near ready to hatch. I have a feeling about that. I'm, I'm mantis psychic, so they're not ready yet. 
So after the Mantis was done laying this egg case, you could you could clearly see, you know, not in this video yet, because it's not done in this video, but you could clearly see it was a lot skinnier than it was, because it was getting kind of fat. Remember when it was trying to eat that frog? It was getting kind of fat. And I think it was just waiting for the right moment, the right temperature, for uh, the stars to align and the moon, for everything to be right for it to lay its eggs. So when it was done, it kind of walked away, crawled crawled away from here, upside down by my tank, and still had some of that weird stuff dripping out of its butt, and then it proceeded to kind of crawl down into the tank and ate about four crickets. So it was really hungry. So when it was done eating, the next day I went and put a bunch more crickets in there because obviously it's hungry if it needs to fatten up again and maybe it's got to lay another egg. I, I don't know how this stuff works. I'm not up on the uh, breeding, mating, and sexual habits of the praying mantis. Maybe I should be, but I'm not. So now all the mantis is doing is guarding it. It goes down and eats and comes right back up and it hangs out around the egg sac. Now there's nothing in this tank that's going to mess with that, that egg case there. Now, the baby mantids, when they hatch, well, the crickets will probably eat them, and then there's William the lizard will probably eat them. I don't know if the cockroaches will eat them. Then the caterpillars are in there. I'm still waiting for a mantis to eat one of the big horned caterpillars, because that would be cool. But she's going to be a mother, so I don't want to upset her right now. Maybe they lay the egg, lay, lay that egg case before they croak, before they die. I don't know. And i got to do a little research on how long it's going to take for these things to hatch. I know when I get the egg case, it say it could take six weeks or four weeks or 12 weeks. I'm not sure, but if the temperature is right, I think they will hatch sooner. All right, so this was my very short uh, update video or surprise video to say, look what's happening, baby mantids are coming. And remember, we had baby mantids before and that didn't turn out well. So we're hoping to uh, to do better this time. So when I get some time, and not just when I get some time, when I get some free space on my computer, I will render the whole file, slap it together, and maybe I'll speed it up, with, you know, and then stop once in a while to let you see it slow pulsating and then speed it up again. Because like I said, it's over six hours. And not just being over six hours, the time is bad, but the size of the file, it's like 10.9 gig. It's a huge file. All right, it's just like the Nature Channel, right? Okay, so what do you think? You ever seen anything like this? I mean, this is bizarre. I've never seen I just stumbled upon it. Oh my, oh my gosh! Ah! So I'll leave your comments in the comment section. And hey, thanks for watching! Baby Mantids are coming! Beanmeister 22 the most dangerous man on YouTube.